Hello there, and welcome to the exciting finale of Who Wants to Be the Best Website Builder? Is it a TV show, a game show? Whatever it is, you're in for a treat. Today, we're doing things a little differently. We'll go through each category, rank the best website builders for it, and I might even share some of my personal favorites. They may not top the charts, but they bring something unique to the table. Then at the end, we'll tally up the scores to crown the best website builder of 2025. All right, enough chit chat. Let's kick off this award ceremony. Of course, we have to start with ease of use. A website builder by design is meant to make building and managing sites as simple as possible. If that wasn't the case, everyone and their grandma would be using WordPress. So are there any outliers here? Not really. All five website builders we're looking at today feature amazing control panels. In fact, these five could easily be crowned the best web hosting options for beginners. But we're here to pick the best of the best. So let's hand out some medals. In last place, we have Bluehost. While it's a solid hosting platform, its website builder and control panel can be a bit clunky. The overall dashboard is great, but the builder is integrated with WordPress. So navigating the control panel can feel overwhelming with too many menus and submenus. If you told me a few years ago that Inos would rank higher than Bluehost in terms of controls, I wouldn't have believed you. Yet, here we are. Now, WordPress controls are still a bit of a mess, but the builder's control panel has definitely stepped up. It's sleek, modern, and offers a guided setup that's great for beginners. However, when it comes to the actual website editor, it feels a bit limited. Plus, navigating between features isn't always as intuitive as it could be. Hosting your land squarely in the middle here. Its control panel is incredibly beginner friendly with a clean, minimalist design that's easy to navigate. They're constantly improving their H panel and builder, making it a contender for my personal favorite, no code website builder. However, the editing tools can feel a bit too simple at times, leaving room for more life improving features. And while the frequent updates are great for keeping things fresh, they can occasionally disrupt your workflow. Squarespace comfortably takes second place and it's not hard to see why. The platform boosts stunning templates and a wide variety of elements to customize. Honestly, the editor might be my favorite hands down. The interface is visually impressive, incredibly well organized, and strangely enough, almost therapeutic to work with. It's just that smooth. Everything feels optimized and thoughtfully designed to deliver a modern, straightforward experience. Personally, I'd crown it as the best website builder for portfolios. Finally, we have Wix, the ultimate winner in this category for its vast range of tools and controls. It's packed with tutorials for beginners and advanced features for pros. The only downside, the sheer amount of options can feel overwhelming. But hey, greatness takes courage. So be brave, my young Lindley, and dive in. Money, money, money. Let's talk about money. Honey, sorry about that. But when it comes to pricing and value, Squarespace unfortunately takes the last spot. While it does offer a free trial and doesn't raise renewal prices, it's still on the pricier side. Plus, useful e-commerce features are locked behind higher tier subscriptions. Bluehost lands in fourth place when it comes to pricing and value, mainly due to stricter limits and significant renewal price increases. Advanced e-commerce features are also restricted to higher tier plans, but at least you can still use the builder alongside WordPress, since, well, the builder is part of WordPress. Inos sits comfortably in the middle. While its pricing is higher than Bluehost and applies to just one website, it offers a solid deal with a free one month trial and a year for just $12. However, the renewal prices are steeper and you're limited by page count, so that's something to consider. Wix takes second place, mainly because it offers a completely free plan, allowing you to create as many sites as you'd like. While the paid premium plans are on the pricier side and some useful features are restricted to higher tier subscriptions, Wix, like Squarespace, has no renewal price increase. What you pay initially, you'll continue to pay forever. The clear winner in both initial and renewal pricing is hosting. It starts at just a few dollars a month, allows you to build up to 100 websites with a single subscription, and even includes WordPress optimized servers at no extra cost. The renewal rates are also lower compared to others. If you're looking for the cheapest website builder, hosting comes highly recommended. You might be looking for some business opportunities or simply want to make your life simpler with AI tools. So let's compare exactly that. Bluehost takes fifth place when it comes to e-commerce. 
mainly because it's based on WordPress, so I can't give it full credit for what WooCommerce does. That said, it still offers all the essentials for simple business sites or online shops. Hostinger takes fourth place for now. While its e-commerce features are solid, they're somewhat limited at the moment. However, Hostinger is actively updating the business side of the builder and even provides insight into future plans. It may not be the best e-commerce website builder yet, with some more advanced tools still missing, but it's definitely good for small projects. In third place, we have Inos. It stands out with its excellent e-commerce features, offering a solid range of payment integrations and easy to use SEO tools. Plus, its AI-driven design tool customizes the layout based on your products and industry, making it the best website builder for small business. Wix takes the silver medal here. It offers fantastic e-commerce features such as abandoned cart recovery, along with a wide range of third-party tools. The only downside is that Wix might be a bit too complex for smaller, simpler online stores. And in first place, we have Squarespace. With top tier features like inventory tracking, multi-channel selling, and comprehensive analytics, it's a solid choice for those looking to sell without being overwhelmed by countless options. For the AI aspect, not every provider uses it equally. Here, Bluehost takes the first hit. While the AI features are decent, helping to optimize your workflow here and there, there's nothing truly remarkable about them. While I really liked Inos' AI templates, it has to take fourth place. The AI is a nice touch, but it's not as intuitive, and the design options can feel a bit restrictive. That said, I do appreciate that the AI can craft entire sections, making it quite useful. Wix, being such a large platform, offers a lot of AI tools. The AI can create personalized websites, and the app market provides integrations for shipping, customer support, and marketing, which is a huge plus. Just keep in mind that third-party AI tools often come with their own pricing. Squarespace takes second place with its AI-driven commerce assistants that optimize product listings, find the best pricing strategies, and even adjust designs on the fly. What I love is that everything stays within their ecosystem, meaning you don't need five different apps to get the job done. Hostinger takes the crown as the best AI website builder. Not only does it offer a wealth of free AI tools, but it keeps adding more and more. While other AI builders help you craft your site, Hostinger's AI can actually build it from scratch. All right, we're done with three categories already. Now let's dive into speed and overall performance. First off, were there any outliers? Should you avoid any of these website builders due to bad performance? The answer is no. All five providers operate at a very solid level. While some showed better results, you won't go wrong with any of them. Each had a perfect 100% uptime score during the testing period and successfully passed the 50 virtual user stress test without any major incidents. Speed is where things get interesting. And surprisingly, the slowest builder turned out to be Squarespace. Honestly, I was betting on Wix given its massive platform and the sheer amount of features it loads, but lo and behold, Squarespace was just a bit slower and received lower scores from Google. That said, Squarespace focuses heavily on design rather than speed, so I'll let this one slide. Wix, despite being a heavier platform, managed to load my sites faster than Squarespace and scored slightly better grades, though the difference is relatively small. Still, I'm happy to see Wix improving year after year. Bluehost delivers a baseline performance, loading times that aren't too long but nothing extraordinary either. Since it's WordPress based, you can always optimize performance as much as you'd like. Inos was a pleasant surprise here, coming just a few milliseconds away from first place. While the builder itself is somewhat limited, the fact that it can load colorful, detailed designs this quickly leaves little to complain about. Hostinger truly dominates when it comes to performance. For the price it asks and the speeds you get, it almost feels like a steal. In some cases, my test sites loaded in under a second, a blink and you miss it kind of moment. Let's not waste any time and move on to the final category, security. How safe is your web project with these providers? First off, all five providers have solid security measures in place, so your website won't be at risk. Each builder on this list includes a free SSL certificate, DDoS protection, constant server updates, and regular monitoring. However, there are some differences to note. Wix lands in last place here. Not because it's bad, but simply because its massive platform size introduces more potential attack vectors. Could one of the thousands of apps be hacked? Possibly. 
Could issues arise from millions of users creating free accounts with similar names? Probably. My advice for security enthusiasts, either perform a manual setup or keep your Wix site clean and lean. Bluehost is solid, offering features like code guard backups, site lock malware protection, and free SSL certificates. However, there are a few drawbacks I'm not a fan of. Automatic backups are free for only one year, and some of the security features like malware protection feel like they should be included in the base plans, as Hostinger does. Talking about Hostinger, it's a great starting point for security. It offers free SSL certificates, DDoS protection, and weekly or daily backups depending on your plan. However, while the builder provides the basics, it lacks more advanced security controls. Interestingly, Hostinger's WordPress site offers significantly better security, so the builder has some catching up to do. In second place, iNOS impresses with enterprise-grade security features like GeoTrust SSL certificates, two-factor authentication, daily backups, and proactive malware scanning. However, the builder itself could benefit from more advanced security controls. Taking first place is Squarespace, which does everything the other providers do and more. It stands out with automatic updates, robust protection against brute force attacks, and a closed ecosystem that minimizes the risk of breaches through third-party apps. All that's left to do now is review everything and announce the best of the best. You can see the winners of each category on your screen, so I won't repeat them here. Let's start with the last place in the best web builder contest, which goes to Bluehost, Bluehost Website, Website Builder. Builder. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it, it's just that it's a WordPress-based builder and plenty of free alternatives exist for that. If you're a diehard WordPress fan, you'll likely enjoy Bluehost for its smooth integration with the CMS. Fourth place goes to iNOS, which pleasantly surprised me with how easy its builder is to use. While it lacks some extras and customization options are limited, the AI crafts nice designs, making it probably the simplest option for beginners. Third place goes to Squarespace. Squarespace. It's arguably the most stylish website builder out there with a minimalist interface that's a joy to work with. It offers fantastic templates and marketing tools. While it's not the best option for large projects and its pricing is on the steeper side, it's still an amazing builder overall. Drum roll please. The second place goes to Wix Website, website builder. builder. And to be honest, it wasn't far from taking the top spot. It's free to start and offers one of the most extensive platforms, allowing you to create nearly anything. However, it can be a bit overwhelming at times and the pricing could be a bit more budget friendly. And now, the best website builder of 2025 award goes to... You guessed it, Hostinger! Simple, sleek, fast, and packed with extras, like an entire hosting plan included with its web builder. Hostinger is the cheapest website builder on the list, and I also admire their user-focused approach as a company. While the builder could benefit from a few more advanced features, it still outshines the competition overall. That said, I think of Hostinger and Wix as two sides of the same best web builder coin. When I need something quick and simple, I go with Hostinger. But when I wanna build something more complex, Wix is my go-to. Give these two a shot. Maybe they'll become your favorites too. Thanks for watching my top website builders 2025 video all the way to the end. If you have any questions or wanna chat about these best website builder options, feel free to drop a comment below. Curious to dive deeper into the winners? Check out this Wix review or our freshly updated hosting a review. All right, enough yapping. I hope I helped you find your perfect best web builder. I'm signing off. See ya.